club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but donkey of the day is a new one. Okay. Well, donkey of the day for Friday, March 22nd, goes to a 50-year-old man in Detroit whose name has not been released, but he went to war with a cockroach, and the cockroach won. Let me tell you something. If you have ever tried to kill a cockroach, you understand the struggle. Mm. Okay, I grew up in a single wide trailer on a dirt road in Moscone, South Carolina. Drop on the clues bombs from Moscone, damn it. Okay? On that dirt road, the cockroaches were indestructible. Were they were the ones with the wings? We're gonna get there. Yeah. We're gonna get there. I, I, I'm, I'm talking the ones I hate that. Those. I'm talking the ones you glide. You may, man, I'm talking the ones you may grab a shoe and hit a cockroach with all your might, and it'll run through that hit like Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott runs through linebackers, okay? See, when you hit that cockroach, you have to hit it with something hard and heavy because if you try to use like a flip-flop or a balled-up newspaper or magazine, that cockroach will not be phased. In fact, you may take that cockroach and, and, and just make them mad. And when cockroaches get mad, as Angela Yee just said, they fly. Oh, yes, cockroaches fly. It's a superpower you don't even realize they have, just like Captain Marvel. Okay, one minute you're minding your business, trying to murder a cockroach. Next minute, it's a full-on aerial attack. And the only thing you can do is spray the whole scene with raid, which could potentially end up killing you and the cockroach. All right? Cockroaches bite as well. They okay? do? Oh, it's not a common thing. I didn't thing. know that cockroaches yes, bite. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's not a common thing. I'm horrified thing. of cockroaches. I'm not going to lie. Listen, it's not a common thing, but they do actually bite. I don't care if it's small. There's no such thing as a small cockroach. It's roaches and then it's cockroaches. Okay, I didn't okay? know that. And don't think a cockroach bite can't happen to you because, you know, a lot of us out here believe we're going to win the Powerball. So if you believe that you are one of the one in 292 million people that can win the Powerball, then please believe you can get bit by a cockroach, all right? I'm just trying to paint the picture of how dangerous cockroaches are. That's why I'm glad to see the fear in your eye this morning, Angela Yee, for I'm cockroaches. I'm thinking about it. It's just disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's a struggle. And it's one of the main reasons the only cockroach we acknowledge is Steel Huxtable's best friend. All right? If you don't get the reference, do your Googles. I don't have time to explain. Now, this 50-year-old man in Detroit went to war with a cockroach, and I'm telling you, if you don't know what you're doing when you're battling these cockroaches, then you can end up in the same situation this poor man found himself in. When going to war with a cockroach, you have to think murder, death. You got to be Michael Jordan, Kobe, not LeBron, meaning you have to have killer instinct. It's killer be killed when battling cockroaches. If you shoot, you better not miss or that's your ass. And that's exactly what happened to this brother in Detroit. So he's 50 years old. He's in a wheelchair, minding his business. Cockroach jumps out. And this man... 50, but moving like a rookie, threw a shoe across the room at the cockroach. Mm -mm. Let me tell you that why never this never works. Never! Let me tell you why this was a bad idea, man. Mm -mm -mm. When you go to war with a cockroach, you got to pull up. All right? Dude got the wheelchair. You're supposed to pull up on the cockroach, literally. And you got to get close up on them and wham, apply pressure with something heavy and hard. And don't pull that heavy, hard thing off the cockroach until you hear a crunch. Ugh. Okay? When you hear That's that crunch... Disgusting. Then you remove the heavy, hard object, and you see the guts oozing out of the cockroach. Yeah, don't let it play dead on no, you. No, 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 then, no, 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 <laughs> You no, think no. it's dead? Okay, I got it. And then... Listen for the crunch. You turn around, where'd it go? When you listen for the crunch, <laughs> you pull that thing off, you see the guts oozing out, you know you've won. Now, when you throw a shoe across the room, you give a cockroach time to think. Okay, the cockroach is like, do I take flight on his ass, or do I run for cover, come back with a couple of the homies, and bite him in his sleep? Well, this cockroach, they're just going to really scare you. This cockroach did something I have never seen before, okay? Clearly, cockroaches have evolved, and they are ready to go to war with Raid, Orkin, and any shoe or boot that has ever posed a threat to their existence, okay? Because when this man threw his shoe at the cockroach, guess what he got back? What? What? A bullet. What? The cockroach shot him? The cockroach shot him. Cockroaches can't shoot. You heard me, boy. What All kind right. of cockroach The man this? threw a shoe at the cockroach and ended up getting shot. Now, there was nobody else in the house but this man and the cockroach. The man threw a shoe at the cockroach, and then he got shot with a revolver, okay? If it was a single hammer revolver, then you now know why they call it a cockroach, okay? Because it has to have that hammer cocked to be fired. Now, WDIV-TV is reporting that this man threw his shoe at the roach, and when he threw the shoe, he forgot he had his gun in the shoe. Mm. And so when it hit the ground, it discharged and shot him. That's what they saying. I don't believe that. What you saying? I think these cockroaches in certain areas got just as many guns as, as we do. Oh, and it's a war So going... that cockroach grew up on the east side of Detroit? Yes. It's a, I, got, I got the exact address. It's the 18700 block of Albion Street. Where that's at? <laughs> I guess the east side of Detroit. All, right. <laughs> all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is we need to stay woke because there's a war going on in our homes that nobody is safe from. Okay? These cockroaches got guns. What are we supposed to do now?
Mm-mm-mm. All right, there's some home remedies that you can use. They say fabric softener spray works. They say lemon pills and lemon juice works. Hairspray. Hairspray, I've heard that. You know, I think that just makes them mad. When all else fails, instead of throwing that old pair of Tim's out, keep them, all right? Keep them to be cockroach killers. But I don't know what to do now that cockroaches got hammers, B. Now he's scared to go home. (laughs) I don't have roaches. No, not you. Oh. (laughs) The moral of the story is... Cockroach is holding the house down. Holding the house down. The moral of the story is... You don't scare a man who sees people as cockroaches, and you can't scare a cockroach who sees himself as a man. Yes. Please give this 50-year-old brother from Detroit the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. Was that a real story? You know what? I don't make stuff up. We're going to have to talk about Jordan Peele. This could be a great horror movie. Imagine cockroaches, cockroaches with guns. got their guns. Cock wow. the Just like you ever see that movie back in the wow. day, The Birds, Cock the where the roaches. birds all came together and they were invading people's homes. Roaches so imagine the, the cockroaches have guns and they run you out of your own home. Because I'm already scared to go back in the house if I ever see a roach. I'm not coming back home. Well, so woke. if the roach had a gun, you can have the house. Stay woke. Stay woke. Be prepared in these streets. Charlemagne the God here, and today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoft. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey. 